up? This is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel. Now, who's ready for some fighting words? In this video, I want to talk about Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Really quick, if you like the videos, please take the time, subscribe to the channel, tell a friend, circulate the videos if you could. Also, if you could, hit that thumbs up button. It does help and it does show support to this channel. This is what I don't like about boxing. You know, when I first started the whole this is what I don't like about boxing videos, I didn't necessarily think that I'd be making one every week. Uh, that certainly wasn't the purpose or the point when I initially did it. But it's clear to me that I'm going to be making one every week, or at least every two weeks at that matter. Um, this is what I don't like about boxing. Um, so I guess after Jake Paul took on Tommy Fury, you know, he realized fighting 20-year-olds is not is not my comfort zone. That's not my lane. This is not where I belong. I don't, I don't belong to fighting 20-year-olds. Uh, I need things just a little bit more structured, a little bit more safe, a little bit more tailored to me, my skill, and my, my personal overall um, well-being. So I'm going to go back to fighting 50-year-olds. That's what I'm going to do. 50-year-olds while I'm in my 20s because that's safe. Um, and, that, and that's really where the challenge is. You know, I, I can take on these, these guys who, who were once somebody, you know, 20 years ago, once somebody, you know, when I was in high school, not even high school, grade school. These are guys I need to really challenge and, and, and test my skill level against. These guys. This is going to hurt. Let's see. Iron Mike, people, is a memory. At this stage, it's more of a myth than anything else. Um, people treat Mike Tyson like they treat Bruce Lee. Of course, nobody can beat 132 pound, five foot six or five foot seven on a good day, Bruce Lee. <laughs> no, nobody can beat him. And if you say, if you say, if you have the audacity to say there's just somebody who actually walked planet Earth that could beat that man, you don't know what you're talking about. You have no credibility. You don't know anything about fighting. You've clearly never been in a fight, and you know nothing about martial arts or fighting in general. Okay. If that's what you believe, sure. Um, I hope the Fighting Words audience is not as delusional as Bruce Lee fans when I say what I'm about to say. Let's see. I'm going to say something that's going to sting, maybe even hurt a few people. Kid Dynamite died with the Catskill connection. Okay? We're talking about Custom Auto. We're talking about Kevin Rooney. That cast. All right? He died with that. Then you have Iron Mike, you know, that, that, that the name that came synonymous with Mike Tyson, Iron Mike. Iron Mike was knocking everybody out. Iron Mike is still on the canvas in Tokyo. Iron Mike got laid out that night by Buster Douglas, and he never got back up, and he never recovered. And after that, he was just Mike. Whether you like it or not, that's the truth. Mike got up off that canvas that night. Mike flew back to the States. Iron Mike is still on the canvas in Tokyo, Japan. That's the truth. Um, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is 57 years old. Um, basically 60 years old. Okay? Uh, a senior citizen he is. He's a senior citizen with sciatica who sometimes walks with a cane because of how bad his sciatica hurts him. Um, and sometimes is even pushed around in a wheelchair. Because that's the stage or the, the, the setting that the sciatica at times puts him in. Let's see. Jake Paul, he's in his 20s. Um, do I think this, this fight is staged? Do I think all his fights are staged? Yes. I don't care. Like, you look at a Tyrone Woolley. Okay, fine. You caught him with a... Listen. Tyrone Woodley fought... Uh, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Uh, there's a lot of boxing fans on here, so I'm not 100% sure how many people know who Stephen Wonderboy Thompson is. He's an elite striker. He is more of a, a karate guy. You know, he, he's not he's not a boxer at all. I'm not, I'm not giving him that. However, he's an elite striker. A world-class elite striker. Okay? If he wants to hit somebody, he can hit him. He's fast enough. He's elusive enough. And he's smart enough when fighting. Tyron Woolley was dodging his punches. And you mean to tell me that he can't see what Jake Paul is throwing at him? Jake Paul, who, by the way, when they fought, well, he still is, but especially at the time that they fought, was very much so an amateur. If you want to be kind to him, you would call him a novice. 
Simple as that. I'm just stating the facts, people, whether we like it or not. You know, like, do I think that fight was staged? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do it. Yeah, he's beating guys and he's he's knocking all these guys out. But you're talking about guys who are seasoned fighters. You're talking about guys who have 40 fights under their belts. And I'm not saying that he can't knock them out. I'm just saying he's not knocking them out in the fashion that he's knocking them out. It, it seems as if they, they're not bringing any pressure to this guy, to this kid. And that is highly unlikely with the plethora of skill under their belts. Not to mention, we're talking about ex-champions. We're not talking about, you know, top of the line contenders. We're talking about ex-champions. Get out of here. I don't believe that. So, but nonetheless, Jake Paul's in his 20s. Nonetheless, although I do believe his fights are staged, he's active. Mike Tyson is a grandfather. Mike Tyson has a wife. Mike Tyson has little kids. Mike Tyson has a ton of other businesses. Mike Tyson, this is not his sole means of, of income. It's not. Jake Paul is making it his sole means of income. And this is what he's been doing. But he trains and he's active. Even if he's, these fights aren't real, he's still active, whether you like it or not. He's still active. He still goes through a training camp. He still spars. Everybody keeps talking about Mike Tyson looks so great for his age and look at, look at what he does on those pads. How many clips have you seen of Mike Tyson recently sparring? I haven't seen any. I just keep seeing these 30 second clips of him hitting some pads. Anybody and everybody looks great on pads. Anybody and everybody looks great on pads. It's not a hard thing to do. So I don't know why everybody's so, wow, did you see Mike Tyson hit the pads? I can get a 10 year old and allow him or her to hit some pads and you're gonna be amazed if I just teach them a quick combination. Nothing special about that. Get over it. Again, that's that Bruce Lee effect that anything he does is amazing and magical and mythical in that sense. Uh, let's see. Um, why is Mike doing this? I don't know. It's not like he needs the money. Mike has a ton of money. Mike has other businesses. Mike does not need to do this for money. Mike could probably make the equivalent of this fight in three interviews. So I really don't know why he's doing it, to be honest with you. And I can't say that it's for the, the glory and, and of being in the ring again and hearing the cheers and the, and the chants of the fans. Because if that were the case, you would fight somebody credible. If that's the case, do a, do another fight with Holyfield and try to get your revenge. I mean, it's going to be boring and I'm not going to watch it. See two 50, close to 60-year-olds get in the ring and fight. I'm not going to watch that crap. But... At least do that. At least it's more credible since Holyfield was a champion. Jake Paul is a YouTuber. And quite frankly, I do believe his fights are staged. So there's nothing credible remotely about this fight with Mike Tyson. So why is he doing it? I really don't know. Do I think this ruins his reputation? Absolutely. I mean, Kevin McBride ruined his reputation. But this definitely ruins his reputation. Okay? And the way he's going to get knocked out. Because he will get knocked out, people. Hear me when I say it, he will get knocked out. Please don't be shocked when the 20-year-old knocks out the 60-year-old with sciatica. Please don't be shocked when that happens, because it will happen. Um, what else do I have? Um, I don't have a whole lot more. You know, listen, this is what I don't like about boxing. They're going to convince you or try to convince you and myself that this is a competitive fight and that we need to watch it. What are they going to bank this on? They're going to bank this on the fact that he was once somebody in the 90s. You were in the 90s. Absolutely, you were somebody in the 90s. You were a threat in the 90s. You haven't been a threat in years. You haven't been a threat in years. So uh, Mike Tyson has not been a threat in years. I'm sorry. And I know it's hurting a lot of people's heart to hear this, but it's the truth. Mike Tyson hasn't been a threat to anybody in the ring in years. It was... Pitiful to watch him and Roy Jones getting there, two old guys slugging it out who made a conscious nonverbal agreement to not punch each other in the head. So they were just shooting body shots all night. And and it was just stupid to watch, to be, to be honest with you. It was stupid to watch. And it just looked like two grandfathers in there slugging it out. You know, like, it was just dumb. This is dumber than that. Why is it more stupid than that? It's more stupid than that because at least Roy Jones has the credibility of being Roy Jones. Jake Paul doesn't have the credibility of anything. And he's going to fight somebody who once had credibility, but that credibility is now shot because he's fighting Jake Paul. And it's going to be even more shot because he's going to lose to Jake Paul. There's nothing to gain from this. 
on either end, not from Mike or from Jake, there's nothing to gain from this. Uh, again, just money. It's all about the money. And money will make you do some strange things. Money will make you do some crazy things. Um, one of the main things that money will make you do is throw your, your integrity out the window. That's what money will make you do. This fight is a prime example of someone saying, here's my integrity. Here's a lot of money. Screw that. <laughs> like, that's what this fight is. Screw integrity. I want the money. That's basically all I have. This is what I don't like about boxing. Don't be sucked in and don't be dragged into this. Listen, if we want credible, real fights, then we as the consumers need to say, we're not going to watch this crap and you give us something edible. This is not good for our system. So we're not going to watch it. We're certainly not going to pay for it. Give us a fight that we want to see. Give us a Canelo versus Benavidez. Give us something we want to see, not something we don't want to see. This is not even something to hold me over till dinner comes, okay? I would much rather just wait for my steak to come out rather than eat this crap. And that's all I have. Drop your thoughts down below. Tell me if you agree with me. Great. Tell me if you don't. Please tell me why. Drop your thoughts down below. And as always, please like, please share, please subscribe to this channel.